So I recently got a 3D model off of cgtrader.com um, and I was having a little bit of trouble figuring out how to import it into Cinema 4D and bring all of the textures and materials that come with my model um, at the same time. So I did a little digging, uh, figured out a way to do it. So I figured I'd make this quick video in order to help anybody else out there that might have the same question. Um, so as you can see, I have my Cinema 4D open and let me, I'm looking off, uh, you know, on my screen share, I'm looking at my other uh, monitor right now where my L drive is at uh, in order to bring up the model. So, okay. Here is my little astronaut that I bought. All right. I drag it from my folder into uh, Cinema 4D. And as you can see, all the materials are just like black and white and I'm left with this just like, you know, shape of an astronaut uh, down here. It's all black and white. So the way to easily fix this is come over here to window and you can come down here to project asset inspector, click that and it's going to open up this little window. Okay. So as you can see, all here are all my textures and the path is the C users sig valdas or valdas. Um, I would imagine that that is the creator of the model and that was a path on his computer, not my computer. So obviously the uh, link is broken. So what we can do is click one, hold shift, click the bottom to highlight everything and we can right click anywhere on here. It doesn't have to be any particular texture, just right click. This window will come up. You can scroll down here to relink assets and click that. This window is going to pop up and you need to choose the folder that has all of your textures in it. Okay. So I'm going to click my textures folder. I'm going to hit okay. And as you can see, everything is relinked. All right. You're starting to see some of the, the textures load like right here. Um, and the other ones will come in, uh, as you can see down here on the bottom of the screen. So here's my astronaut. All right. So one thing that I noticed, I rendered it out to see like if everything was working. And when you do that, you're going to get a very, um, underwhelming final product. So if I come over here back to my little folder, you'll see that this is a screenshot of what was on CG trader. Okay. So like, this is what I was expecting the render to look like. And this is what the final render looked like. If you just use it in cinema 4d, um, you know, by itself. So keep in mind that you need to add a light, and um, and not use the default uh, the default lighting that comes in Cinema 4D. So what I did is I added a cube right here. Um, I'm going to bring up the scale, and I'm just going to raise it up to kind of give it a little bit of a background. And then I'm going to come over here to my Redshift menu, and I'm going to add an area light. And this is just to quickly show you guys kind of like what you need to do. Um, so I'm going to bring it over here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay. All right. I'm going to turn the rotation a little on them, bring it back. Okay. Raise it up, bring it back. All right. And then I'm going to add a, another area light on the back side of this model. So I need to turn him around. Uh, so now I like the lights hitting in there. Good. Okay. And I'm going to turn the rotation. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to bring it up and bring it back. So all I did was added a couple area lights. And if I render this out, you will see that, um, I'll let it give it a second. You'll see that that realism of the model is coming back. Okay. So you can already tell that the, uh, you know, the helmet looks more realistic. The suit looks more realistic. Um, 
here let me let me do this for you yeah i'll just zoom in a little bit more so you can get a better look right okay so that looks a lot better than this clearly right and that was just by adding a couple lights so um that's what you do you would also need to mess with the gamma um, channels and the roughness and things like that but if you guys want to see a video on that let me know i'm happy to do it but that's a whole nother topic so um all right thanks i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did uh give me a thumbs up have a good one see you guys